Hi, my name is Kerry Robinson. Welcome to Chasing 67 Sounds. If you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe and like this video, we're gonna get into my remodel of my home theater system. I've been working for the last couple weeks. That's why I've been missing, haven't dropped any videos, but I got a lot of work done and no one did it but me and, the, me and myself. So I uh, put a lot of effort and time and changing a lot of things and I think you'll enjoy it, right? So once again, welcome to Chasing 67 Sounds. If you can hit that subscribe button and we're gonna get into some home theater. Let's go. Starting off, like I said in my last video, We've only been in our home a little bit over a year. So that's why my theater room wasn't painted. Thanks to Kevin Cook, who took care of us in our home purchase. But uh, I wanted to let you all know that the painting is done, finally. Uh, the paint color that I chose is chocolate. Uh, so, cause I, I didn't want to go too dark, but I also wanted to match my furniture and everything like that. And then when I turn on the light, that it gave the room some contrast and stuff like that. So as you walk up the stairs, I started the paint color here. And then my beautiful wife, she chose that for my room. So I really enjoy this sign. That, that, that kind of lets you know that you're coming up in here and you're trying to enjoy yourself. Now, coming into the theater room, I got, I got a little, little trick for y'all, and I haven't seen these out there, but I'm gonna I'm show y'all, because y'all gonna really like this. So, what I got here, I have the 4K HDR signs, and uh, I found these online, and uh, I said I, I, I had to get these to let let you know what you was coming into when you came into the room. And then moving right along over here, it lets you know what kind of television I have. Sony OLED, 83 inch, uh, Sony A90J. So I'm rocking that A90J, you know that television is awesome. And then you step over here, lets you know what kind of speakers that I'm running. Uh, the Focal. Whole house is done in Focal, but uh, this room here, this one really rocks. And then all my subwoofers are real. So, you know, I enjoy real. Um, it's a lot of good subwoofers out there, but the real, what I really like about real uh, is that when I go from theater to audio file to my listening, that real, I noticed with my other subwoofers, when I go to listen to music, I would have to get behind it and adjust it for music and stuff like that. And to be honest, Rail is the first subwoofer that I, when I go from theater to audiophile listening, that I don't have to go behind my subwoofers and adjust it. It really just blends right in with the music. It don't overshoots it. It, it, it really works well. And so, uh, yes, Rail got me, all right? I like Rail. And then coming here, what I did, uh, I added my uh, rear speakers, and I, these are KEFs. And so I ran all my wiring throughout the entirety uh, with the KEFs with all banana clips, and these are right at the right height going into the theater chair. So. So my rears, they really, they really tickle your ears when they come on, you know. So really enjoy. This is a new addition too. So I got the cuffs, um, and of course I got the rail right here in the corner for my rear. Uh, I got rear subs. So really enjoying my my rail subs. Uh, on my ceiling, I'm running four. Focals in the ceiling, uh, 100 series. I really enjoy those. Uh, it added to the room, really nice. They spread out 
right above and it kind of capture you in the center of the room. So when you have that Atmos going on, going across the room, the sound really just goes across the room. I really enjoy that. So let me show you what I did here. You might not know I got the Focal. Uh, love these speakers here. And then I so I start using uh, uh, for my sound. I'm getting those, you know, to kind of get the sound from bouncing and everything off the room. So that's a good addition right there. That uh, I do notice the difference. Um, the sound is not. Um, it's not just hanging out in the front. It's coming off the walls and, and uh, really getting to you very quickly. Uh, addition, I add some sconce lighting uh, to the room. And then I come here. And so with my front subs, I, I have all my subs running to my new location where I remove my entertainment center. I wanted to clean up my front stage and get rid of the entertainment center. Um, I, one thing I noticed, a uh, few compliments, and I do listen to your compliments, uh, your comments on, on, on my videos, and I do read them and, uh, because it's all educational. And a couple, a couple people said, you know, um, about the glass and the metal, the, uh, the resistance of a, the sound vibration that can go through my equipment. And I, I totally agree, I am an engineer. So so what I did, got rid of their entertainment center. And I'll show you why I relocated everything in a minute here. But got my rail sitting up here, my 12s. And then uh, what I did, I banana clip everything in for my front stage. So I have everything banana clip in and it's running all to my new location where I put all my entertainment center is. Um, and, and, you know, blessed thing about it is that I'm able to do this myself. So everything is really, really nicely done. Um, so what I did add new is when I, I added a center channel sub. So, right? So I have my T0 rail T0 here and I added it to my center channel. So when you do, let me show you the back of here. So when you got, uh, when you have the center channel sub directly to your center channel and I got the high level, you know, cable put to it. So you, when you add that to your system, you go into your receiver and you select your center channel to large. And so what that does, that gives you a lot of your center channel, you know, 80% of your stuff is coming through your center channel. So, and you've been, it's, believe it or not, that um, it's a lot of sub that comes to your center channel that you, you wouldn't realize until you do that. So, you know, that's one of the things you ought to, check out and uh, see about doing that. And then you come right over here. Of course, I got my 83 inch Sony A90J. This TV uh, is amazing. Uh, I kind of wanted to do it right the first time and I, I didn't want to purchase something and go, man, I should have got that or whatever. Um, I went back and forth and Picture quality wise, uh, the Sony A90J hands down won me over. So then I got my, my subs here and my front stage. So since I've removed my entertainment center, take a look how that front stage look now. The presentation of that alone is letting you know that, hey, okay, we're going to watch a movie, you know, it's, it's, it's really nice uh, with the center channel sub and everything. So I got my sound behind here also. And then we come here. So here's my other sub back here. <laughs> so 
I'm running five rail subwoofers. Yes, it works. And most people think, because, oh God, you got five subwoofers, ah. No, what it does, it fills up all the empty spaces. Actually, uh, and you guys know that having this many subs, they are actually turned way down because I want it to blend and don't have no dead spots in the room. So even though I have a lot of subs, all it did is make for no dead spots in the room, right? So then I got the Focal headphones. All my Wi-Fi up here, I have the Wi-Fi Orbi mesh system, the, the three pack, and you know, that's next year. And then my amp, my shakers for my theater seats, you know, uh, when they vibrate, you know, I like that. And then I have my other Focal up here. I mean the Kef, I'm running the Kefs here. So this presentation of this seating uh, uh, area here, it just really sounds great. Then I got other sound uh, baffling here on the back. Um, and so just really trying to find the placement and everything. And, and that'll grow over time. Uh, I, I just don't want to put those things up there and just put them up there and go, oh, I got them up there. No. I want to understand exactly what I'm doing and have a reason why I'm doing it. So as I grow and learn, I'll be able to share that information with you and help you make a good um, suggestion or how you want to do your room, all right? So coming here, now we're going to show where all my entertainment center, hey, <laughs> Chaser 67, where is your equipment? I'm going to show you where my equipment is. Come here, let me show you. So I had this closet right here and I was utilizing it just for storage and just little knickknacks and I and that's when I came up when I came up. I was just like, you know something? That entertainment center gotta go and I'm running all the equipment here. So here's everything right here. Let me take a look. Got all my receivers, I got everything banana clip in. Um, all my equipment is ran over here. So now everything just works out. So um, it's, everything is working out great. So what we're doing now is, uh, is uh, I'm, I'm looking to get this remote. It's called the uh, Sofa Baton. Uh, that Sofa Baton remote is supposed to be awesome about um, getting signals from anywhere in their house. So, until next time, uh, this is the rem uh, remodel of the theater room. Chasing 67 Sounds. If you can, hit that thumbs up and that like button and uh, subscribe and I'll get back with you. We're going to do some more upgrades here and I got a lot of stuff coming. Thank you very much.